force other than this group must rule Nasarawa State. So that's what happened. If you go to IRF, you will notice that in the accreditation for Chiroma and, uh, and Gayam World, there are different figures for the House of Assembly and the governorship. But it's the same beaver that was used. How can you suddenly uh, two elections announce the one for the House of Assembly has different figures of accreditation and the ones for the governorship? But it's the same accreditation, the same number of people that voted in the governorship election, although they voted in the House of Assembly election. But if you go to the IRF and you go to the back end and you see they are different from what was announced. This was simply brazen and criminal. Do your worst. That is what they were telling us. Who oh, are the figures will announce it? Do your worst. So that so-called white lead is not a look at what happened. Go, what did the APC get in the in the in the presidential election? What was the votes of APC in the presidential election? For example, look at the gap between what they voted in the presidential election and what they got in the governorship. That is one. Number two, in this election, PDP defeated Sule in his local government, in Akwanga local government. We defeated him flatly. We defeated him in his world. We defeated him in Akwanga zone, which is his own zone. Then we defeated him in Doma local government, in Obi local government. These are huge population centers. Then we defeated him in Karu. Where are they cooking those figures from? Very clearly, you will notice that this was the most brazen act of criminality I've seen in any election. That people suddenly just go and use three, four units and add to their figures and just announce. Those figures are simply fiction. They don't agree with the total accreditation for election in Latvia local government, in Gayam, in Chiroma. So that is what they, are, they were doing. It, was, it had nothing to do with the real votes cast by the people. If you want to do that, go to IRF. You will see the gap between what they declared and what actually took place in the election proper. It's hard to discount Nancy, your submission that Nasarawa is a curious state, Mr. Marco. But then again, uh, why was the PDP unable to prove its mettle uh, as, uh, with Nasarawa being its home base in the presidential election? Because the PDP was defe defeated in the presidential election uh, in Nasarawa state. But APC was even more defeated. APC had the national chairman in the election from Nasarawa state. They had a sitting incumbent government in Nasarawa state. They were flatly defeated. Because, you see, what happened in the presidential election, as you could see, was that there was this wave, you know, uh, of obedience of young people that we all took for granted. And we were thinking that Peter B was a joke. Where will he go? So both PDP and APC we were thinking, no, this man, he doesn't have structures. <laughs> he will not be able to do much and so on. So, But the people somehow, young people, seize the initiative from all the politicians. And for the first time, what we saw in Nasrawa, in several other places, in, in Edo, <laughs> in Delta, where the vice president comes from, we saw that the young people were serious about what they were doing, and they took advantage of the social media, you know, to project a program that has shaken the nation. For me, we lost. We lost in the presidential election. We lost truly. APC, which is the incumbent government, lost more woefully than we did. Uh, who had the government, who have the party in the state, they all lost. So you can't use the presidential election to judge uh, what will happen. We, right. we, we didn't win, but on the other hand, given our place in Nasarawa, we are not controlling government, we are not controlling federal government, but we did much better than APC in Nasarawa State, given their figures and the advantages they had over us. These conspiracies continue. This one you saw so ugly on the March 18th it was so ugly because it is, technology has brought what has been happening in Nasarawa State in the full view of the nation. In previous elections, you never will be able to know what was going on. But in this election, because of the introduction of technology and the social media, people are just following the results, following the results. Then at the point of announcement, bam, something happened. So but shouldn't they be hopeful? Change. Because if that is what happened, then the people will have evidence uh, such that they can proceed to the tribunal with it, and it should be clear as day. If they Why have should that. we be winning election in tribunals rather than... No, 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 I'm saying considering what you explained. Yes, I know, I if know. If that were the case. Yeah, but the issue is this. You know, those who do this believe they own the judiciary. They believe that if you go to court, they will use money and influence and hold on to what they have stolen. And they say this openly. In the case of Nasrawa, I can tell you, apart from maybe 2003, when I know we really, we really won an election, Election in Nasrawa are sustained manipulation because of the intention 
that not everybody should run as our state. So they make sure they bend the rules, they bend our neck, they bend securities. Look at what happened on the 18th of March, for example. Election had been conducted all over Nasrawa State. Then two electoral wards in Latvia are asked not to conduct, to finish the election until they see the whole result in the rest of the state. If they are losing, they will know how much figures they will lack, for example. 